Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video in SQL Server. Today we are going to learn about what is pivot and what is unpivot in SQL Server. So, pivoting in SQL Server is a method to change your rows into columns or uh, columns to rows. So, pivoting is used to if you have a uh, unique rows in your uh, column, then you can uh, change the single column into multiple columns by using pivot function and unpivot is just opposite to the pivot op option where you can uh, change the multiple columns in your table into a unique single column in your table so basically the pivot and unpivot can be made in something like a matrix so you can transpose your table so the pivot and unpivot is used to change the rows and columns in your table based on certain aggregation or uh, conditions that you have provided for that let us see some live examples in SSMS to understand better about this pivot and unpivot so here I have connected to my SSMS and I have a table creation script along with the insert statements so let me create this sales table now let me execute this So the table got greater. Let me select this insert statement. Let me execute this. So totally 36 rows got affected. Let us select the table. Select start from sales. So now let me execute this. So you could see there are 36 rows in my sales table I have a product column which contains the product name and the month and uh, the revenue for uh, each product in each month so he in this you can see there are a uh, product and the months are uh, in a queue and it is a uh, repeating itself so you can see there are multiple months and uh, you can see the months are based on these three products so I need to uh, I need to pivot this month to get the month wise revenue for each product as a result so for this let me use the pivot option in SQL server so let me write a query for this first I need to select the let me copy this and paste it here from the sales table I need the product and month and also the revenue so now let me execute this this returns the same value as my table so from this take this as source table And then I going to perform the pivot operation in this pivot operation let me provide the condition inside this I need to calculate the sum of the revenue based on the month so I need to calculate the sum of revenue I need to provide for for which column I need to calculate for the month column so I need to select all the months inside this so let me copy all the months from here let me copy this
so i have provided all the months here so let me take this as to go to table so from this i need to select everything so now when i execute this query you can see the result i have got the products and along with all the months as a column value and some of the revenue inside each month for the particular product so for the product a you can see here the product a has 1000 revenue for the january month and 1500 for february so for for this you can uh, calculate the sum of the revenue and you can and you can pivot the months into separate columns so in this example you have seen like i have uh, changed this month column into separate columns inside the select statement so this is known as pivoting the table so you can uh, separate all the single column to multiple columns in your table there is also unpivot in sql server so for this i have another table let me create this sales pivot and uh, let me insert these statements so here let me select this sales pivot let me copy this paste it here you can see in this table i have product and a particular month but i have multiple products a b c particularly two z values there are 26 rows and for each month so here now i am going to unpivot the value that is i going to unpivot these three months into a single co column under month so for this let me first select copy paste this here inside this i need to select the product january month february month the same result as the select query so let me take this as source table and just like in the pivot table example here we need to provide us and pivot so for this we need to provide the condition inside this circular brackets i need to unpivot the revenue so in our previous example we have pivoted for the sum of revenue here i am going to unpivot the sum of the revenue based on month so i have provided for month again i need to provide the list of values so here i going to pass this three months so there are only three columns for the month in the sales pivot namely the january february and march so here i have provided those three months in the in the select and let me rename this as unpivoted table and finally i need to select everything from this subquery so now you can see while i execute this statement i got 78 rows that is all the three months has been unpivoted and joined as a single column in my select query so you can also see i have 26 rows previously and for three months so all the 
26 rows has been for all the three months has been multiplied and returned as a single column that is the month column and we got the final result as a table so i hope you have understood what is pivot and what is unpivot and how we can use this to change the rows and column columns in our table and uh, transpose the tables to a matrix so let me provide the github link in the description you can find the solution also few exercises to solve please subscribe to this channel and watch all the videos in the sql server playlist thank you for watching